Robotics is making rapid progress all over the world. Just a few years ago, robots looked like a bunch of gears and wires, but today they are indistinguishable from ordinary humans. They think and communicate, dance, and perform acrobatics. The speed at which robots are advancing is astonishing. Robot waiters are already working in a restaurant in China, and a hotel in Tokyo welcomes guests with a robot dinosaur at the reception desk. Mechanical assistants clean homes in Europe and in the United States. In Japan, a hair-washing robot will take care of the elderly in nursing homes. Progress does not stand still, and it is possible that in the very near future, robots will be walking, flying, and driving on the streets. This will become commonplace. However, China stands out among all the countries advancing in robotics. The country has rapidly developed its robotics industry and has become a global leader in this field. Every year, China hosts dozens of exhibitions showcasing the most advanced robots that literally amaze the imagination. Today, we will discuss how China has displaced leading countries and become a leader in the field of robotics. We will also introduce you to the most advanced, next-generation Chinese robots that will definitely surprise you. Enjoy watching! The Chinese robotics market has become one of the largest in the world. Although just 20 years ago, the industry was relatively underdeveloped. Today, the Chinese government aims to integrate robotic systems into production as quickly as possible and focus on technological advancement. One of the recent striking examples was the use of robots at the Winter Olympics in Beijing. Many foreign athletes were surprised to have their meals delivered to their rooms by electronic assistants, which also serve drinks at the bar. The Chinese themselves considered this a great solution in the midst of the pandemic. Speaking of robotics in China as an independent development can be traced back to 1970, when the country began to study basic technologies, even though other countries had already started automating production. In the 1970s, there were restrictions on the export of advanced technologies from Western countries to China. A decade later, there was a period in the country for studying the design features of imported industrial robots and robotics itself received significant government support. In the 1990s, China built nine industrial parks and seven research bases, laying the foundation for commercial activities in the field of robotics. It is believed that until 2010, China was still in the initial stage of industrialization, focusing on mass-producing domestic robots for the domestic market. From 2011 to the present day, the industry in the country has seen extremely rapid development. By 2013, China had surpassed Japan and taken the leading position in the world of robotics. In terms of numbers, the development dynamics of China's industrial robotics industry look like this. In 2015, 69,000 robots were produced. In 2017, it was 130,000. In 2018, 182,000. In 2020, the number reached 212,000. And this year, the figure is close to 500,000. In addition to industrial robots, China has started producing cobots, devices based on artificial intelligence that use algorithms to perform various energy distribution tasks. They are mainly used in the production of computer equipment and communication devices. China stands out for its high growth rate of robotics patents. Six universities and research centers in the country are among the top 10 patent holders in the field of robotics. The Chinese government emphasizes the importance of developing the robotics industry and strives to create the most favorable conditions for both domestic manufacturers and foreign partners. In 2013, with the aim of addressing existing shortcomings in the robotics industry, the country's government developed guiding opinions on promoting the development of the industrial robot industry. This document marks the expansion of production, aiming to establish three to five competitive robot manufacturers in the global market in the near future. In 2015, the country developed an ambitious strategy called Made in China 2025, which encompasses 10 key areas, including robotics and artificial intelligence. The final goal of the project is to become an industrial superpower by 2049, with milestones in 2025 and 2035 along the way. According to the project, local manufacturers were supposed to provide half of the domestic market with high-tech products by 2020, but only 39% of the planned target was achieved. Nevertheless, China has no intention of slowing down and plans to increase the pace of production. To support this initiative, the National Investment Fund for Advanced Manufacturing, with a capital of $3 billion, was established, with one-third of the funding coming from the central budget. 
In 2016, the government began implementing the state program for the development of the robotics industry for 2016 to 2020. It aimed to stimulate and support the use of robotics across various sectors and attract foreign companies. With government support, China has been able to acquire foreign companies. For instance, Mydea Group acquired KUKA, one of the world's largest robot manufacturers, to improve its production of household electrical appliances. The efforts of the Chinese authorities have not gone unnoticed. As of the beginning of 2023, more than 800 companies in China were directly involved in robot production, with over 6,500 companies indirectly connected to it. But let's talk about the prospects for the development of the Chinese market. Like in most countries, China has identified a shortage of highly skilled personnel in the field of robotics. This is particularly evident due to the lack of flexibility in the Chinese system to respond to changing demands in terms of workforce preparation. Therefore, one of the points in the Made in China 2025 strategy is dedicated to robotics education. Due to the rapid development of the industry, researchers indicate that more than a million low-paying jobs will soon disappear in China. However, the government assures citizens that these job positions will be transitioned into other fields. Experts believe that in the near future, China will transform from being a leader in exporting goods to being a leader in exporting high technologies and smart factories. A smart factory implies that cheaper and more efficient robots will take over production tasks, and industrial robots will be integrated with consumer data in real time. China plans to create a structure where robots produce robots and automated factories produce products. Counting on overall progress in technology and operating systems for robots, as stated in the statement, China will encourage industrial innovation and expand the use cases for machines to achieve its goals. In general, Chinese companies have achieved significant success in the development of humanoid robots with various functionalities. These machines are planned to be used in a wide range of fields, from entertainment to intelligent manufacturing. Some developers propose rather unconventional applications for their mechanized creations. For example, Data Robotics has programmed the Cloud Ginger robots to play basketball. In 2022, China imported industrial robots worth approximately $2 billion, while the export volume was three times smaller, at about $610 million. The Chinese Robotics Industry Alliance reported that in 2022, major industrial enterprises in China produced 443,000 industrial robots and 6.5 million service robots. In December 2022, these figures were 40,000 and 491,000 respectively. It is noted that in the same month, China exported industrial robots worth $50 million and imported them for $180 million. According to statistics from the Chinese Institute of Electronics, the size of the Chinese robotics market reached $17.4 billion in 2022. It is expected that this figure will reach $25.1 billion in 2024. In 2021, China surpassed the United States in terms of industrial robot adoption for the first time. Write in the comments what you think about the prospects for the development of Chinese robotics. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you soon.